This is Artifacts of Mars. And there's rumors out there, there's actual videos of this, that perhaps uh, somebody set off a tactical nuclear weapon in uh, Yemen, another one in Syria. Syria won't be uh, in 2013. The Yemen one won't have been this year, and possibly in Ukraine too. Uh, there's a video here. Um, I think what we'll go ahead and do is we'll go ahead and play the video, and you can judge for yourself. It's not going to copy over very well, I'll tell you that right now. I've done this before. In my opinion, I'm thinking this probably is not, uh, a nuke, I would think. At this range, even a small nuke would do uh, some damage to the city. I could be wrong. It lights up the hill and back of it. And you see it's quite an explosion. This is Yemen, according to uh, what they said. And then the camera goes kind of nuts on and like they lost control of it or something. And then they have a big huge explosion. There are experts, by the way, that are saying that this is probably a nuke. As they said, I don't see any damage to the city. Well, they didn't hold the camera steady. They photographed something. I would think this would be hard to do with Photoshop, but I don't have Photoshop, so I don't know. I've tried Googling, and I really haven't been able to uh, find it. They want you to pay monthly or something in some program. I didn't like what I was seeing. Uh... So either very large MOAB bigger than 4,000 pounds of max weight for max weight for an F-15 F-16 is about 2,000 pounds payload for bomb rack. According to this expert, his name is Jeff Smith. He's a nuclear physicist and used to work for the IAEA. This is a really tough call. You have to understand that most mainstream news, what we're calling mainstream news, isn't news at all. A lot of it is just a plain uh, theatrical production. But worse than that, you know, what's mainstream news? Where do they get their news from? They go to the government to get their news, and then they put it out. There's almost no investigative journalism uh, by these professional companies being done. It's all, I would say probably 99% of it, I don't know, uh, isn't investigative at all. They just run to the government every time they uh, are looking for a story, whether it be federal government, state, or local. They don't, they don't go and dig for facts themselves. What well, our founding fathers didn't want. They wanted the uh, journalism arm that could basically get on the government's rear end and uh, keep them honest. They're supposed to be in the government's face all the time. So, was this a nuclear strike? I don't know. This one's in my gray box. 
So the government's not going to tell you if there's a limited amount of field nukes being used. They're not going to tell you. The effects that would have on world markets alone would be devastating. Everything. But like UFOs, they're not going to tell you what's going on. So I don't know. This one's in my gray box for now, but do be aware that there's possibility of nukes have been used in the Middle East. A lot of this is old news. I mean, the Syrian one is from 2013. Yemen one is from uh, last May. I don't know about the Ukraine one. I haven't, haven't seen that video. Keep your eye out, eyes open, people. The only way we're going to get news is with citizen journalists who uh, take videos like this. It's all over the internet. I just learned about it last night. That's all. Thanks for watching. I'm Artifacts of Mars.